Hey guys, welcome on in. Kuros here, and uh, we're going to talk about these Ruby leaks. I'm actually getting a little tired of talking about leaks and all these nerfs or buffs or balances and all that goodness because honestly, the character is still going to be good. I'm just going to say it straightforward. The character is still going to be good, and for reasons that I'm going to show you. And I still think uh, Ruby is a viable option for the fire team. And we did recently talk about this in extreme length on our YouTube channel and on our Twitch uh, live streams. But I don't consider them to be nerfs. And at zero star, she's still freaking amazing. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into it. If you guys can't hit that like and subscribe, check out the Tower Fantasy playlist, and let's get started. Do, 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 do. All right. So uh quickly, I want to squash the one thing that people seem to be uh missing the key point of or uh missing why cobalt was so important to the to the fire team and yes ruby does detonation of burns and that was good and it was great and that was one way to stack a lot of damage but when ruby came out cobalt was already part of the general banner so that means you could go to the shopping mall right here and you can just go buy out cobalt she was already there on the cn she was the second banner so the fact that when Ruby came out, you could go ahead and max out an A6 for relatively cheap. You didn't have to be an Omega Whale. If you've been saving all your chips, you could have you could have done it as a free to play and had a very successful fire burning comp. Now, TLDR, I don't I don't want to I don't want to compare too much of CN to Global, but in CN, uh, Cobalt's not even used. She's not even used. Like it, it, the fire burning comp is not even the fire team comp. If you guys have seen my recent video on a my free to play fire team doing uh 58 million damage you can check the the link above my head or somewhere like that it's good it's a really good team especially for a free to play and ruby is one of the best free to play characters there is whether they nerf some of her stars or what whatever you want to call it but just cobalt isn't used you don't have to highly i mean you would have to do it right now and yes you'd be relevant for two or three patches but that's not even the team that's like that's not even the team you're shooting for as a fire team comp the team you're shooting for is this right here you're looking for that ruby you're looking for that annabella and you're looking for that lin yi now i i don't have the best characters in the world i don't even have the best levels in the world i don't even have the best gear in the world and i could still pump out 60 million damage on the j08 so even even my stats are terrible right so i mean that just goes to show you that you can you can make do um with these characters and then burn comps aren't even used anymore once annabella comes in anyways so you're really just doing a gas comp or just additional supplemental damage and then using ruby to do more auto attack ulting supplemental damage every now and then you will get a burn it'll be a nice addition but that's not even the the main part of her kit anymore all right, so I know Reddit's been all the buzz, and um, I know that there's, I I, I know there's, uh, like, I don't want this video to be about nerfing. Like, I think what they did was right. I think what they did was right, and I think people are going to be pleasantly surprised by how good Ruby still is, especially as a free to play. She's going to be better than any of the standard SSR characters. Now, maybe not a, no, she'll be better than all of them, even in an S6. Uh, but your S6 SSRs will probably go a lot further than they used to. But like King doesn't do DPS. Zero doesn't really do DPS. Then you've got like Cobalt. And uh, in Cobalt re requires insane investment for auto attack damage and everything like that is just not the greatest. So if we go ahead and open this, you can see that we've had some uh, nerfs across the board. Or <laughs> sorry, I don't want to say nerfs. Balances across the board. But the one thing I do want to point out that's absolutely critical is that none of her basic attacks, aerial discharge, lockdown, any of that goodness has been uh, modified, has been mod has not been modified down. So she still hits like a monster truck and she has that resonance, which is really good. Now they did. Now her one star activation is that a uh, uh, basic sparky basic attack uh, increased by 80%. And then a separate part of that is that her skill cooldown goes down to 24 seconds. Now looking here real quick, let me see how many 
Uh, her skill cooldown is 30 seconds, so you sh you shave six seconds off that. So it's a nice little savings, but nothing to really write home about um, on that uh, on that skill right there. But that that increase into auto attack damage, that's what she's used for. She's used for auto attacking. She does an insane amount of auto attack damage, um, especially when she's on hot heat and, and you have the right matrixes and stuff like that. Um, her three star did get uh, modified down where the flame attack uh, damage gets increased uh, only by 8% and then fire uh, additional uh, fire burn damage is only 75%. That's okay. I'm okay with that, right? And honestly, as a free to play, do you even care about a three star modification or a six star modification? Now, honestly, her five star is really her bread and butter. Each time Sparky attacks hits an enemy, restores an additional 75 points of weapon charge. That's insane with a cooldown of one second. And then, so essentially, it makes her an insane charge. Now, that's whale territory we're talking right now, but eventually she might hit the general pool. Uh, when ultimate heat is active, shatter increases by 25%. Also amazing given how how high her shatter rate is uh, on the actual weapon where she's sitting at 11.5. Uh, what is that? Gets her up to about 14, somewhere around that line. And then the fact that like even though she has an A rate charge, at that 5 star eventually you will have a much better charge rate. Now going back here, now her her skill was uh modified downwards where her uh her it increases our basic attack let me uh let me open up let me do this real quick all right so her her sparkling uh sparkling calendar or whatever you want to call that uh does get modified down uh it uh do, do, do it increases basic attack uh, by 30% instead of 110 and then it uh, triggers uh, da, ba, ba, ba. when spark hits trigger a burn or ignite an additional uh, I think that goes down to 45% damage of the remaining total multiple uh, burns are combined cooldown six seconds and the skill cooldown is 30 seconds uh, I'm actually okay with that because uh, once again in the global version everything is easier to kill so if Ruby came out at her CN levels, you you would be just you would just be smoking everything, right? It would be it'd be insane. Um, and then on top of that, what she did is that eventually you get this uh, a buff called uh, Hot Heat or um, Heat Energy or anything like that, and Max Stacks increases Flame Attack by twenty five percent for twenty five seconds, which is amazing. That got that got brought down to ten percent, and I I think that's uh, totally reasonable. I think that's totally reasonable. Now then talking about her discharge, I know this is what uh, the big contention is that everyone's talking about is this 100% down to 45%. Now the real trigger here is that she still does an insane amount of burst damage. She does. And then once again, you're not really running burns anymore. That's just not the comp. Literally the fire comp does not involve uh, Cobalt until she's in the general pool. That's going to be a while. That's going to be a long while. Like just get that out of your head. Unless you're a whale, then it is. If you're a free to play, it's not. Um, I, honestly, I'm pulling Ruby and, uh, I'm just going to probably pair her with King and just call it a day for until I get Annabella, uh, or in Ligny. Um, if the target has a burn inflicted by you, ignite the burn dealing an additional hundred percent damage. Oh, I mean, I mean, that kind of brings me to my final point is that we, we have to really stop talking about, and I know I just made a video. So this is like a, you know, a, a catch 22 or an oxymoron. I don't even know, but we have to stop talking about these. We stop comparing global or, or CN to global. Now we do it just to give you context of how a character plays to an extent, or if we think it's going to be viable. But um, I mean, at this point, like Nemesis has been nerfed, Claudia has been buffed and nerfed, uh, Cobalt's been buffed and nerfed. Like it, it, at some point, like they're all viable. Every single character is viable. Frig has been insanely nerfed. She's never usable. She's terrible. And even though she's not, she's actually good, right? So Ruby's going to be good out the gate. She's going to be amazing out the gate. Um, she does a ton of fire damage. She's got a great kit. Um, she's got a great cooldown on her skill. Her skill does a ton of damage, bounces between different mobs. And uh, she essentially does a giant Kamehameha. And uh, I love Kamehamehas. They're absolutely amazing. So... Uh, th that's all I really have on this video, guys, is that uh, Ruby Ruby is not dead. Fire is not dead. 
But you have to you have to realize that Cobalt really isn't the fire team. She really isn't. She really isn't the fire team. It is uh Annabella plus Ruby plus Lin Yi. That that is what your fire team is really gonna be. And um in, in, in the synergy between the three of them work very, very good. I highly suggest you guys check out my video. Uh on uh, the free to play fire team i know it is in the cn i know my gear is completely dog poop but um i mean stop it just please <laughs> everyone if you got if like if we can can we just please 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 just just stop it um it, it, they're not nerfs they're they're fine and then no one okay here's here's my last final thing i will say no one wants the cn version in global you can't have the CN characters in global and then not want the CN scaling. Like it's just, it doesn't make any sense. It, 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 it's abs it's absolutely makes no sense to me, but Ruby's still adorable. She's still amazing. She's still a key part of your fire team. If you want to go fire still, you got to pull Ruby and she's one of the best free to play zero stars in the game. Put some mirror matrixes on her, put crow matrix on her, put her own matrixes on her. She's going to be great. We'll have a complete deep dive because I'm pulling for her because she's going to be on my fire team. So that's all I've got. I'll see you guys next time. And uh, fist bump from BDU.